Two things that happens when we go through calamities in life. Number one is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to bring us black back closer to Him. And number two is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to send us a message that if you are going through pain in this life because this calamity, remember there's a greater calamity in the hereafter. That if you do not take a lesson, if you don't come back closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you don't turn from your old wrong habits, then the punishment in the hereafter is even greater. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what he wants from us is that we turn to Allah. We don't complain in that kind of situation, but we turn to Allah and we ex we exceed and we increase in our ibadah. In the same ayah, there is a very beautiful story that is mentioned about a tabi'i by the name of Wahab ibn Munabbah. One thing that we learn about all of our scholars, especially those who are great da'is of their time, those who are really educate people the right way and those who were not bribed by the government and so forth and they were preaching the haq many of them were in prison because of this reason you look at the life of imam hanifa imam malik imam ahmed bin hanbal imam shafi'i imam uh, sheikh al-islam ibn taymiyyah and many others they were in prison because they used to always speak the haq wahab ibn munabba was one of those kind of people he was a, he was one of the uh, in fact one of the students of ibn abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma so while he was in prison someone asked him that can you please shed some light on the situation that is going on amongst the scholars and people in general. And he says that he mentioned this ayah, these kind of situations, Allah is bringing challenges upon us. It is our duty that we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after he said that, he fasted for three days. He fasted for three days while he was in prison. And the one thing that you all know about prison is that you don't get to do things on your own time. There's a time, there's a schedule that you got to fit that time. So think about the time when it, when the, the time that is allotted for the prisoners to go and eat. At that same time, Wahab ibn Munabba is fasting. So someone asked him that, why are you fasting? And he then said, once again, he reminded them about this ayah. He says that in times of difficulties like this, why should we not do extra to come close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And the powerful lesson in this is that when we come across a calamities, when Allah puts challenges upon us, see many times what we do is that we are even lacking the basics in our life our five time daily salat, our basic connection with the Quran, our basic akhlaq. We are suffering in so many aspects. Well, we, these are just the basics of our deen. And what we think is that if I just start doing the basics, inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will bring some ease upon me. What we don't realize is that Allah already expects us to do the basics. The basics of our deen, Allah expects that from us. But what Allah wants to see from us, that we excel. So if I'm going through a challenge in my, in my life, I come more often to the masjid. If I'm going through some challenge in my life, I give more time to the Quran than what I'm already doing. If I'm going through challenges in my life, perhaps I wake up for Qiyamul Layl at night. Do the extra things. Because in the Hadith Qudsi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that when my slave, he takes time out, and he gives that time for my ibadah, I will free, just like he frees time for my ibadah, I will free his heart from calamities. I will free his heart from miseries and so forth. So this is why it is extremely important that when we go through these kind of challenges in life, instead of sitting there in doubting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, instead of sitting there in questioning the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rather we need to increase in our ibadah. And this is something that we have seen across the board. When there was a storm, what would the Prophet Alaihissam do? He would go to this he would go to the masjid. Every single time there was a situation, every single sahaba the Prophet ﷺ, the Tabi'een, they have showed us that they would do extra in their ibadah. So this is why in these kind of times, whenever we go through any kind of challenges in life, we all have different and various challenges that we go through and we have to endure in day-to-day -day life. But at the same time, let's do the basics first. We have to come to that standard as it is, but let's do more than that also. And this is why we find that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
whoever does righteous deeds mean that they do extra, then we will give them a peaceful life. It does not mean that the problems are going to go away completely. The problems may linger in life because that is, that is what this dunya is. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us a heart that we will be able to endure any kind of difficulty.